Hi, I'm Frances Proctor, otherwise known as Angel Eyes Online. Today I'm going to answer a question about distressing text. So let's get started. The first thing, of course, we're going to need is some text to distress. I'm going to use a font. It's a Google font and it's called Luckiest Guy. And you can see it here in the Google Fonts list. If you don't have this font installed on your computer, you can easily use Zara's ad fonts, providing, of course, you've got a version 9 or higher uh, program. If not, you can go to Google Fonts and download it and install it manually. I'm not going to go through that. I'm going to get cracking here on distressing some text. So let's type in our text, and I'm just going to click and type, and I'm going to set the font size nice and big. Let's go about 36 points. So let's type in some text. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so you can kind of see what's happening. Now the method I'm going to show you is to use a seamless tiling bitmap to distress your text with. So we're going to need to find some seamless tiling bitmaps. Now there's lots of places on the internet where you can find a seamless tiling bitmap. The ones I'm going to be using today are available on the Zara Zone. There's a set of six of them that are free. And as you can see, here's the Zara Zone. And you just go to free stuff. And you can scroll down here. And you're looking for these seamless marble textures. These are some, textures, some special textures that I created about a year ago or so. And you just go here, click the download button, and download your textures. Once you've got them downloaded, you can unzip your file. And I like to stash them in my fills gallery, or you can simply drag and drop them into the program from Window Explorer. But if you've got them installed in your fills gallery, let's go back to Zara here. And I'll show you here. I've got them already installed in my fills gallery, and here they are here. There's six different kinds. You can see there's different colors. There's different patterns here. These ones act, seem to work really good for distressing this, distressing text. So let's get these cracking here. So I'm going to make sure my text is selected. And I've already got these installed in my fills gallery, so I'm just going to select one. You can see I've got this brown one selected. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click this button that says Transparency. And now it's going to apply this to my text as a transparency. But if I zoom in here so you can see this a little better, this isn't the effect we want. This is just kind of giving us a kind of a grayscaled, marbleized look to it. And it's not what we want. We need to profile this text effect. So let's go down here and I'm going to click the transparency tool. You're looking for a little wine glass icon. And we're going to go up here and the profile sliders we can find by clicking this arrow button here. So let's just click the arrow button. And before I start profiling this, I just want to make sure that it shows repeating tile up here. If it doesn't, you need to click this and select repeating tile. I mean, you can still do this without your, your tile repeating. But if your tile is set to repeat, then it won't matter what size you make your text fill, which I'm going to show you in a few seconds. And it gives your text the availability that you can edit it and you can type as much as you want and you're not going to run out of the distressed effect. So let's profile this. And I'm just going to close the, down the fills gallery to give us more space to work with here. The profile sliders work in two different, there's two different sliders. One just gives you the amount of how it's affecting the transparency. And this one bumps up the contrast. So I'm going to pull this right over to a very hard contrast. And I'm going to bring it down 
And you can see how it gives you a lot of adjustment there. And I'm just going to grab the handle here and make this smaller. We can pull this around. You can see how it's affecting it. You can just maybe we'll once you get a hand showing up, that's that will allow you to move it around. And you can see how we're creating our distressed text here. Move it around, play with it till we get something we like. That looks pretty good. And I'll zoom in. Make sure that's all the way over. And you see you've got a pretty nice distressed text. Now let's say we want to change that. So I'm going to go back over here to my bitmaps. Maybe we'll try this green one so I can change this quite easily. Go transparency button again and you can see how it's changed. Maybe you like this better. Maybe we want to distress this a little more. Maybe we want to make this smaller. Okay, I like that. You can see how easy it is to change the bitmap and how the bitmap is distressing your text. And one of the cool things about this, I'm going to go back to the text tool for a minute, is your text is still text and it's completely editable. I can select this. I can type whatever I want in here. I can type a whole new word or even a sentence. I can change the color. I can make it. Oh, I'll go back to the uh, selector tool and I can change the color. <laughs> so as you can see, it's really handy. And another cool thing about it is you can apply a mold to this. You can use the mold tool, apply a default envelope, and stretch it. And your text stretches, but your bitmap transparency is stays the same. So you can kind of play around and get some pretty neat effects. And that's basically all there is to it. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.